this is very important drug warfarin we know warfarin is an anticoagulant drug it follows zero order kinetics and it has it can interact with a lot of drugs so what are the important interactions you should be aware about one is interaction with cefopirazone but is cefopirazone it is a cephalosporin but it has a side effect of causing hypoprothrombinemia we know some cephalosporins cause hypoprothrombinemia and warfarin also act by decreasing the function of prothrombin you know warfarin inhibit the activation of factor 27910 so if prothrombin is already less that can lead to toxicity so same dose of warfarin can cause bleeding if we give with cefopirazone okay second is very important interaction with broad spectrum antibiotics like ampicillin or tetracyclines so what happen is normally the gut bacteria bacteria present in the git they produce vitamin k and warfarin action is to inhibit vitamin k you know warfarin is vitamin k inhibitor now when we give long uh, this broad spectrum antibiotics they will kill the normal gut flora so when normal gut flora is killed there will be decreased production of vitamin k so when vitamin k is already less so warfarin action again is enhanced so again toxicity can occur that means bleeding can occur so ampicillin or tetracycline like drugs when we give with warfarin warfarin can cause bleeding okay third is sulfonamides we know warfarin has high plasma protein binding this is albumin warfarin is binding here so when we give sulfonamide they also have high plasma protein binding they also have same binding site so sulfonamide comes here and it bind so when sulfonamide bind warfarin is displaced so warfarin become free so when free warfarin increases it can lead to bleeding so sulfonamide can also lead to bleeding when we use with the warfarin okay and rifampicin we all know it is a strong enzyme inducer it increase the metabolism of warfarin so when warfarin is metabolized it will become ineffective so we need to increase the dose with these three drugs we need to decrease the dose but with rifampicin we need to increase the dose of warfarin because it makes warfarin ineffective okay